How do there guys and welcome back to Edgar TV where I'm going to be once again sharing with you today some experiences and some information and some knowledge that I had throughout my 11 years as a professional dart player and in this situation a match in which I received a warning for and obviously I will also inform you the procedure that can happen if you don't adhere to that warning and what sort of the implications are moving forward. What I'll do first of all though is I'll just paint the scene for you. The match in which we're talking about is my second ever world championship appearance. This one in 2020 I believe it was and packed house down at the Alessandra Palace. Walk-on start and with walk-ons it is the player who is highest ranked that walks on second. So I was higher ranked than Darius Labanowskis at this point. So Darius walks on first. I sort of stand to the side of the stage. Then it's time for me to come on to the iconic Book Rogers feeder. Amazing tune. Match kicks off. First dart. This is something you always think about. What's my first dart going to be? For me, treble 20. Straight plumb in the middle. And I was playing quite well. You see here averaging 96 and a half. Darius though, 107 absolutely giving me a pummeling despite the fact I was playing well and that continued into the second set as well Darius winning that one three nil yet to win a leg next set starts well you can see the frustration written all over the face Darius Labanowska is just continuing to punish every little thing he wins the first seven legs in a row I've not got a look in in this match and at this point you're sort of thinking am I even going to win a leg I could lose this game 9-0 and be off the stage in a heartbeat. A whole year's worth of effort, the whole year's worth of travelling and commitment and sacrifices that you make throughout the year, the practice, the preparation, everything that I have done to get me to this point and I could get walloped and sent off back home for the most miserable Christmas of my life without even winning a leg. But then it happened. The miracle happened. He won the leg. The crowd gave me the sarcastic applause. And I, I just went with it. I gave it a bit of a G up. And everyone started going. And I'm looking around. It sort of reminded me of the old wrestling days. And sort of the, the crowd reaction. We went to a, a cut scene there where it's showing it. And then it comes back. And I'm still going. And I just really enjoyed that sort of moment. The crowd then started singing and chanting my name. Which was quite fun as well. And... At that point, I kind of didn't feel that like I was even in the game. I thought Darius was going to run away with it at that point. I didn't feel I could turn it around from that point just because of how well he was playing at that moment. But then I won the next leg and did the same sort of thing. You can sort of see the reaction of the crowd straight away. And then I was trying to engage that and just go with Darius. had just missed four darts at this point. And as the commentator has said, that Darius didn't want any part of this. That was obviously picked up by referee at the time Kurt Bevins who at this point when I approached the hockey to throw again turned around to me and says right Matt you need to stop that now which is kind of the warning that I received at this point now if I was to have continued with this sort of behavior I probably would have let's be honest, I, I was sort of getting into that point where I was sort of enjoying this match and that was it really I thought just enjoy it now, you know, who knows when you're going to be back on a world championship stage, maybe you'll never be back, and I've always had that sort of attitude, that whenever I go on to one of these stages, this could be the last ever time that I do this, who knows what happens in a year, maybe you have a bad year, you don't qualify, maybe you get injured, maybe you break your arm, maybe you miss tournaments, maybe there's issues that come up, maybe you fall poorly, yeah, who knows what's going to happen? Who knows when the last time you walk on that stage is? And I always have that in my mind, that this could be the last time. Enjoy it. Embrace it. Be everything it is. Take it all in. And that's what I was doing at that point. But, so yeah, I, I probably would have continued with that. Now, if I would have continued with that, the procedure goes as follows. Warning. This behaviour is not acceptable to continue, Matt. We had that. Stage two. Matt, I've told you about this. This is now your second warning. If this behaviour continues to proceed, you will be docked a leg. So that's the next step. So you get two warnings, verbal. The first one's just saying this behaviour's not on. The second one is I've told you this behaviour's not on, but you're still doing it. If it continues, I'll take a leg off you. If then you are docked a leg, it still continues, you forfeit the match. So the match can be awarded to your opponent 
if the behaviour continues. So you get like sort of four chances. Now that can come either from the referee or it comes from the tournament director. Not only that, but this behaviour as well, like, well, not so much this behaviour, but like behaviour deemed unacceptable um, can also get referred to the DRA. Now, the DRA is the Darts Regulation Authority, and what their job is to basically do is to keep the integrity of the game and the sport. So if, for example, they said, right, we don't think this is this is disruptive behaviour to the sport and it's bringing the sport into disrepute, we're going to refer this to DRA. DRA have then got the potential to fine you for this sort of action. We've seen big cases in the past. The biggest one was the girl in Price Gary Anderson incident that happened at the Grand Slam of Darts where we were talking five-figure fine for girl in Price. He did contest it and get it dropped, but the biggest fine so far to date. Normally the fines are to the minimum set of the first round of a Pro Tour, which at that time would have been £500, but nowadays would be £750 quite a sizable chunk of your prize money, 10% really, that you do not want to be losing out on. So that's the procedure. That's what could have happened. I did take that warning. Would I have stopped? Probably not. I probably would have persisted, even though in that. But I say embrace the moment. Hope you have enjoyed this video and this look through sort of some darts information times I've had in my career. I'm going to keep sharing this sort of stuff. So if you are really enjoying this content, have a look. On the channel there is a little playlist there now for this type of content and there's gonna be plenty more coming so hit the subscribe button and I'll catch you soon for some more good TV